Hello, hello. Welcome back to Common Sense Crypto Channel, where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals who use common sense. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, actually, before we get into it, because we're doing a, we're making a persistence wallet and staking. Um, I just want to put it out there that I usually try to make a video like every day, every other day. Um, in the background here, I am in the process of moving, so things <laughs> are a little stressful sometimes. So if I'm not here like every other day, that's why. Um, for the next month, I'm moving. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to put it out there. Just wanted to put it out there, just in case you guys were wondering what was going on. So uh, let's get on into it. Okay, so I'm at wallet.persistence.one. I'll leave a link in the description below. And let's go and create a wallet. Press on that red square, it says create a wallet. Take a moment to read through this content for your own safety. This is important. I suggest you read it through. Users need to securely store mnemonic seed phrase to prevent loss of funds. Losing or exposing this phrase could potentially lead to users' funds being stolen. Read that a couple of times to yourself. Losing or exposing this phrase could potentially lead to users' funds being stolen. Users can view and save the mnemonic while creating a wallet. And press next. A little FYI, you cannot create this wallet offline. You have to stay online. I've tried that a couple of times to see if I could do it, but you can't. So, all right, copy this down, copy it down on a piece of paper, copy it down on a USB, copy it down a couple of times, save it in a couple of places, not online, because again, if it's lost, you don't have the wallet anymore. If it's stolen, you don't have your wallet anymore. So I'm gonna pause this real quick and write this down myself. So hold on. And we're back. Okay, so you wrote this down in a safe place. You wrote it down a couple of times. And you press next. Now there's two options. Sometimes it's three boxes that will be blank. And you just have to fill in those blanks to uh, complete setting up this wallet. So, and write down these words in order because obviously you need to have them in order in order to complete your wallet. And then press submit. Okay, and that's it. Now we're gonna generate a key store file as well because you wanna keep that in a safe place. You can store that and put a password on it so no one can get into it. Um, that is okay to keep on your computer. I do suggest you putting it on a USB though because again, you wanna have backups of these things. Create a password. write this down. Password encrypts your seed phrase. The password does not help you generate your seed phrase, but it encrypts it. So take note of it and we're done. And then it, this pops up so you can save your key store file. Um, okay, and save. And then you can open that back up and create a uh, um, the password for it. Now, this wallet will never be used, so you guys seeing this is not a big deal because I will never be using this wallet. Um, so what I would do is to make a password, I would click on here and save as, and then um, save with the password. Okay, so I have, okay, save the password. And then you make your password, whatever it is. And confirm, again, write these down. Because if you lose them, that's it. There's no coming back from it. So we have it saved. I saved it to my, shoot, my USB, um, my USB stick that I have in my computer. And that's it. So when you come back into your wallet, you can just upload that and not have to type in your seed phrase if you don't want to. Okay. And then press next. Copy and paste. Copy this 
Um, this is your address. Copy it. Copy it while it passed. That's important too. And log in. All right. While it is created, it's pretty simple. So it's going to tell you the total um, XPRT you have, the current price of it, and the current value of your wallet. I have nothing in this wallet because I'm just creating this to show you guys. Um, okay, and then this is where we're going to stake as well. So when you ha when you're staking and you're delegating, uh, when you're staking, it'll show you how many how many persistence tokens you're delegating and your rewards that you can claim. So. Now let's go into doing some staking. Oh, and if you want to receive funds into your wallet, you just copy your wallet address, paste it into whatever <clears throat> exchange or other wallet you want to take your XPRT from and send it to this wallet. And you can also see whatever transactions you've done. So, stake. So we're gonna click on staking on top. This is pretty simple. This is actually all really simple. It's not hard. It's pretty step by step by step um, steps they have. I, I'm going to leave a link below. Um, it's how to stake tokens, stakingrewards.com. Um, I'll leave it in the link below to show so you guys can follow along with it if you want. And again, it's really simple. It goes with you step by step by step by step. Sign in, make an address, submit. Now you're on the dashboard, and then staking. Um, and also, I have an article here I'm gonna put in the link below to show the uh, validated uh, providers, staking providers. Let's see. Pre -vet, uh, at Staking Rewards, we have a pre-vetted set of validators and persistence. Browse through the list and search for the verified badge, which is this blue check mark here. Oops. Which is this blue check mark. Those are vetted validators. So you know that uh, they've been verified by persistence, they're legit. Not that the other ones aren't, but for your own personal peace of mind, you know that they're, um, they're good. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so. We'll get into some of the technicals afterwards. So you're going to go here and okay, I want to go and I want to stake with someone. So you find whoever you want to stake with the, the validated, uh, validated validators. The check marks are not in the wallet here. It's on a different page. Again, I'll link that in below. So you see here it has a stake lab. They have, um, 1% here that means they take one percent commission and you get the rest um again we'll go into that in a second but you just press actions to stake it's delegate and then you put in however many um tokens you want to stake say if you have 100 i would stake only 99 because you need a little bit of xprt in your wallet uh as a transaction fee it's not a lot whatsoever and then you just press next okay and then it's going to have another page that pops up um that says confirm and you're good to go and that's it and you and you're staking that's it um now let's go over here to this page i'll leave this this is stakingrewards.com slash providers now you'll see here it has this check mark those are the validated providers vetted pro excuse me providers <laughs> Um, some you'll see are custodial, some are decentralized, like custodial, custodial is like Binance. They're, sta they're uh, on here. Um, just that they're, it's just different. Decentralized is, and it's just, it just means two different things. De de not, not decentralized, not centralized, excuse me. So StakeStream is a provider that's validated and they have 32 users who have staked to their network. Their stake value is 18,077,816. And they have also have other assets that you can stake on with them as well, but we're not gonna go over that now. So you just, I would come over here and I would just look and see who you wanna stake with. I like to pick people that don't have high numbers because then that 
um, makes the network grow more, but it's up to you. And, um, okay, so these are the vetted people. So then you'd go over here, let's see, we're gonna go to, we're gonna, all right, so let's do steak fish, okay? They're, they're validated. So we're gonna go back to our wallet and look for steak fish. Also note, uh, foundation nodes, don't stake to them because they do not give any uh, commission. I mean, they take 100% commission, they don't give you any rewards, and they're designed that way. They're not, those are nodes that you don't stake to at all. Um, like I said, it says 1% goes to the validators, and then you would get, uh, it does have, this is their voting power, how much time much of a vote that they have. Um, We'll go back to that other page to see how much of a percentage that you're going to get in commissions. I'm just trying to find steak fish. Okay, and I can't seem to find them here, so... Oh, okay, there they are. All right, so they have a 10% commission. But if you want to know more about them, you go back to the staking providers, you can click on them. And then here you will find how much of a percentage you will get from, um, from persistence. You can stake a couple of things with them. You get 31%, uh, you earn 31%, okay? Um, they're not custodial, they're decentralized. And they, uh, charge the 8% commission fee, which is not bad at all. You're still getting a pretty big amount of uh, rewards. So you would go, you would choose, okay, I want to use Steakfish. Again, click on Actions, Delegate, and that's it. And that's it. That is it, actually. It's really simple. Um, and when you want to unstake it, go back to Actions, um, and you can unbond it, or if you, or you can just redelegate it back into, you can just restake it again, redelegate it again. You want to claim rewards, you click claim rewards. It's really simple. It's not hard at all. Um, the, again, the most confusing thing I would say is, you know, how much of a commission am I going to get? And, um, how much, how much rewards am I going to get? And how much of a commission do they get? Again, you know, 10% is the most they will that they have uh, commissions that they can get. And again, I like to um, choose people who are don't have a lot because then it just makes the network grow bigger. And you can go to Explorer as well to see the different validators and see, and actually see a lot of different things here. You can click on validators. Hey, well, my screen is doing something weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, and you can check and see their voting power. This doesn't have the check marks. Like I said, it's that other page, and I'll leave it in the link below because I think it's really important so you can look. Um, but you can go here and, and say, okay, I want to choose one of these people and see if they're vetted. Uh, I think that's the way I did it. Um... Yeah, and then it just shows the commission, the voting power, and how many delegators and how many people are staking with them. So I think it's uh, it's pretty simple, simple and straightforward. You really can't go wrong with anyone you choose. But again, you know, if you want to double check and make sure, I hey, I don't blame you because staking, if you've never done it before, it's a little bit like, oh, what am I doing? But again, it's not hard at all. And that's it. That's all. <laughs> I'm going to leave these links, all these things in the link below. I hope this helped you guys. Um, I'm going to also make uh, a tutorial that's more like a silent tutorial that just goes through everything step by step so you can just watch it. It's a little quicker than me speaking if you want to have that as a um, something to follow along with 
as you're doing it, if that's easier for you. They also have an active validator, so you can see, you know, what validators are not active, which is good to know too. But uh, yeah, they have a lot of information on these pages, uh, on this page, on the Explorer page to see a lot of different things. I would definitely check it out. I would also go to their Discord page. They have a lot of information on here. Um, what is their, their thing? It, it's Persistence One is their um, Discord page. I would go there because they have a lot of good information on there about a lot of things that they're doing. If you have any questions, you can ask them on there too. People get back to you pretty quickly. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Please leave a like um, to help spread this video out to other people who might need the help. And uh, like, subscribe, share. And also I'm going to be doing a, um, like a live chat on Saturday. So if you guys have anything you guys wanna talk about, leave it in the comments below. I will tweet it on Twitter as well. Um, my Twitter name is in the link below. And that's it. Yeah, so again, like I said, I um, apologize if I've been kind of all over the place lately. I am in the process of moving <laughs> and moving is a little bit stressful sometimes. So, but anyways, I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope this helped you guys out because again, it's not hard. It's really not hard to do these, to do this. And you really can't go wrong. The only thing that could be an issue is if you do not write down that seed freeze, keep it in a safe place, write it down a couple of times, keep them in a safe place, and uh, write down your password and the, J, um, the key store file. Not write it down, copy it down. Save it in a safe place. So also remember for your other uh, coins and stuff, get yourself a hardware wallet because that is going to save you as well. Like, really save you on a lot of things. A lot of um, sleepless nights, a lot of, save you from losing things. I have a link below for Let Nano Ledger and EliPal. They're both great wallets. Um, so if you're going to go get a wallet, please um, click my link below. That would really help me out. It would help you out. And again, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Any questions? Um, just ask me down in the comments. I will get back to you and I will see you guys soon. Remember Saturday evening, I want to say about, it's going to probably be later. It's probably like eight o'clock. I will be doing a live stream. So I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.